Hey, 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 how's it going, everyone? Well, a bit of a special video, something a little bit different, that is accessories. Uh, so it's a bit like Christmas here, we've got a nice assortment of various uh, cool 1 to help scale items. And yeah, the cool thing is, all except for this bad boy in the corner, 100 yen each from a 100 yen shop. So I should say 110 yen now due to uh, price plus tax. Uh, but yeah, most of these come uh, from Syria. Uh, but yeah, basically 2023 seemed to be the uh, 100 yen shop, uh, 1 12 scale, I don't know. Someone's just gone all in. Whoever is their product designer, purchaser there, must love action figures. And you know what? We're benefiting from it. However, this video is definitely more aimed at those living in Japan or who are coming here um, you know, on holiday sometime soon. Uh, but yeah, if you are, I highly recommend checking out the 100 yen shops. We have Daiso. Not that great for that uh, one to scale accessories though. But as the main one, you'll see it everywhere. The next one is called Seria. And that one is where most of these accessories have come from. They've gone all in on the 1 12th uh, scale items. And then there's also one called Can Do. Not as common, uh, but they have a few other small items. Uh, for memory, that's where these stand came from and one or two other items. Um, for the most part, Can Do, Seria, they kind of mix and match all the items. Uh, so what you can get at one, you can generally get at the other. Though some items are exclusive to uh, one shop or the other. So yeah, um, if you come to Japan, check them out. You can pick out heaps of stuff for really cheap. And recently they started doing these black stands, which is actually really good. Uh, so we'll go through each item one by one, have a look. For most part, I haven't opened these up. It's a bit of an addiction for me. Uh, there's one kind of close to where I live. So sometimes when I go pick up lunch, I might check them out if they've got anything new in. And when they do, I normally pick up one or two items. I'm like, yeah, this will be cool for a photo. I'll definitely do that photo. Never happens. I just end up with... A pile of these items though hopefully one day I will get around now the other main item actually we'll start with it first and that is this 112 scale Japan post office letterbox and this is cool and um, this is actually gone on sale at every post office throughout Japan uh, from the start of this month I haven't actually opened it so we'll pop it open now um, now unlike the others which were a hundred and ten years including tax uh, this one is actually a lot more expensive at 1500 yen. I guess it's one way for them to try to, you know, increase revenue in this uh, day and age where people aren't sending as many letters. But I thought, you know, it symbolizes Japan instantly and looked really good quality. I thought, you know, I'll at least pick up one for my uh, collection because uh, it looks really nice. Um, if you've been to Japan or if you've lived in Japan, you'll recognize this instantly. You have a side here for your normal size letters and your oversized ones on the right with the Japan Post logo, and that is actually raising a boss, which is quite nice. And it's got the logo there for the um, U-Bin or the postal symbol on the top as well. And on the side, does this actually open up? No, nope. okay, so it's got the handle and lock there, and yeah, you know what? And it's basic plastic, uh, but it looks really cool. But yeah, this will definitely look really good with some, you know, slice of life photos, and uh, you know, maybe Vegeta going posting a lovely little bomber or something along those lines. Uh, so yeah, if you are in Japan, at least from July 2023 until I'm not sure when, um, pop by a post office, you should be able to find them for sale there for 1500 yen. Uh, a little bit on the expensive side, but I definitely think it's worthwhile picking up. I'm looking forward to, um, you know, doing some photos in the near future. So while we're on the outside theme, let's move over to the next one that just went on sale recently. Uh, might be a little bit hard to see. Uh, but this is actually a street pole. Um, now, through the magic of buying multiples, I do have one already made. Um, and it's really cool. Uh, maybe I might need to move out a little bit, but it's quite tall. Um, but we can get a closer look first. So it comes with multiple parts, and you just uh, snap it all together, and everything's locked into place. And then you have a sticker sheet. Uh, so you've got like the caution ones, the uh, fire hydrant, and um, one for the street address. You know, here goes a watch your speed, slow down sticker. And on the back, I've put some general advertising on here. Here goes one for like a dental clinic, as you know, uh, clinic. Um, lots of clinics in Japan. Uh, you'll see these signs always, um, no matter where you're walking in Japan, um, always advertising some either dental clinic or, uh, you know, normal GP clinic or, you know, all sorts, but mostly clinics actually. And uh, we've got a poor little bit uh, lost and found uh, sticker here for a dog. And there's a couple other small ones as well, which is really nice. So you can definitely mix and match. 
And this is definitely perfect for making that street scene. You know, he's on walking down the street um, with, you know, this guy in the background, maybe going to post a letter. It really does help kind of bring that environment to life. So before we jump inside, uh, another cool recent item is actually this miniature step ladder. Uh, this is the red version. Uh, from memory there is a yellow or a blue one as well. So again this is the 110 yen uh, shop one from Syria. Um, yeah I'm not sure, I, does this actually pop off? Oh it does, check that, okay so that can pop off. You can uh, then clip it on underneath as the stabilizer. So you have your ladder and then, you know, have your worker climbing on up the ladder, which is really cool. Ah, uh, you know, or we can, um, what's it? I guess you can unclip that, go back down, and then have it fully stretched out, leaning up against a building, someone doing some renovations on a wall, maybe, you know, doing some graffiti or some along those lines. Uh, so, yeah, nice and versatile, and yeah, just a Fun little accessory, but more importantly, 110 yen, super cheap. You know, if you've got that change in your pocket, just pop in and pick up a few. Uh, I might actually go get another one of the different color ones. You know, a bit of variety is always handy. Okay, so let's move on inside, and yeah, I've got a few office items here. Um, also a TV cabinet, they have sofas, couches, uh, coffee tables, I haven't picked those up yet. But, you know, eventually I probably will. Uh, but I thought this one here was really cool. It's actually a, a very typical Japanese office table. Let's pop that packaging off and get a closer look. So if you've been into any, especially older style Japanese offices, you'll recognize this desk straight away with that gray color with a filing cabinet. And I think these open as well, maybe. They're definitely loose. Okay, maybe they don't open. <laughs> Um, but you know, that is really cool. And then to pair with that, we have the, um, what was it, free level uh, color box kind of cabinet as well. So, so this can work well in an office setting or, you know, even a living room. Um, this is very similar to something you can find at IKEA or Neatori. Uh, if you've been to Japan, it's like, um, well, I think everyone knows what IKEA is, but Neatori is basically a Japanese version of that. And you can really buy these home items and little boxes, put your home hold items in. But yeah, works well next to the desk. Yeah, I feel like it works pretty good. But you can pair it up pretty well there. And then yeah, finally to bring it all together, we have the 112 scale office desk chair. Uh, so let's pop this open and put it next to the desk. There we go, bring it up so now we can get a proper good look at the chair and desk and everything all together. Maybe we can pop um, Naruto on the desk there so he can be kind of studying. Right. Not the best posing but you get the idea. We've got Naruto on the chair at the desk with his little filing cabinet. Maybe he's doing some study or you know brushing up on that ninjutsu uh, scroll reading. So two more of the recent items I've had is the TV stand. Uh, so this is called, let's pop the packaging off. There you go, so you can see it inside here, you know. If you have a DVD player or a game machine, you can pop in there. There's definitely been a few gacha versions of those recently. The drawers come in and out. I mean, it looks cheap and plasticky. I mean, you can touch it up, paint it yourself, add some, you know, weathering or some matte finish to it, and it should look really nice. But you know, 110 yen, can't really go wrong with that price. And then obviously for your TV stand, you need a TV. This is um, one that was quite recent as well. And you can kind of see the picture of the chair in the background, which they sell. Uh, I'll probably go pick one of those up sometime soon. But on the back here, you've got, uh, I think that's like stickers you can cut out, place on the TV. You can cut out a fighting game one or a generic, you know, what's that, a flower scene. And then already on the TV, you've got like a Sunday look. So let's pop this out and we can get a closer look and maybe pop it on the TV stand. Ah, okay, here you go, the stickers here, they're on a separate sheet on the back, and then you can take them off and place them on the back for all that extra detail and writing. I think the stand swivel around, you can just place it on like so. But yeah, that works really good. Looks nice. In the photo, I mean, you won't be able to tell, especially if something like called chairs or anything like that. So, 
Well, we don't have the other, you know, normal Humphrey seat, but we do have this one here. Yeah, you can just place Naruto on there if he stays on. There we go. Now he's watching his favourite cafe show. Uh, so very versatile, easy to use. Again, cheap. Can't go wrong. I'll have to put the stickers on the back of this later um, and find a time to, you know, take some photos and maybe get like a casual seating arrangement to pair well with both of these items. Okay, so next up is a display base. Uh, this is one of a few mecha kind of uh, futuristic star ones I've got. I've never opened this one up. I actually only picked it up, I think, last week. Uh, so it's pop it out now, and I believe we can combine multiple together uh, to get a very nice big base going on. Um, I did get something similar to this a while ago. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I posted a photo of Naruto, uh, rock Naruto, uh, with a guitar and a kind of a, uh, stage around him and um, that was using um, yeah another item from a hundred yen shop which is really cool um, so I'm just trying to see how this works everything kind of pops off I guess that plugs in like so this plugs in here just winging this this looks like a stand I think we can go into one yeah that's right okay out for now they can go here okay that took a little bit longer than I expected to put together um, actually the way these clip in pop it off it has some uh, pegs on the bottom and they are actually different sizes so you have to make sure you get the uh, left side on the left side right side on the right side and then if you do that everything should slot into place without any issue it's you know for 110 yen, not bad, a little bit basic, um, but you know, get in there, do some weathering, get like your probably 144 scale Gundam figures, uh, or maybe you've got Mecha um, Vegeta in there, ready to be you know deployed into battle against Ava, or whatever ridiculous scenario you come up with. Uh, but overall, really cool and simple way to display some figures. Okay, next up is the display stand. Yeah, a black stand. It's been something I've been after for a while. And yeah, 110 yen and surprisingly pretty good. Uh, so I've bought two of them, only opened one so far. Uh, but this is kind of like a thick wire. So it's pretty firm and stiff, but you can move it around. You can pop, oh, it comes out. But this pops out of a base. You've got multiple locations where you can slot it into. Um, and yeah, it's got the usual clamp, which is, if you use the Tamashi stand, it's very, very similar. Um, but for, you know, darker characters, it's quite nice to be able to have the black stand, or if you want to do a photo of a dark background, it's quite nice. But very basic, very simple, it works pretty well. And 110 yen. I think that's pointed, you know, right? These aren't perfect. They're not the most prettiest items for some of them. They're pretty, yeah, you know, just downright basic. But 110 yen, you can't go wrong. Uh, the stand is, you know, great, holds up well. Uh, it's definitely, you know, won't win any, you know, beauty awards or anything like that, but it does the job. And it's one thing that I, you know, absolutely love about the stand. And then the last two items we have today, these are actually little bit Japanese, like, uh, festival fans. Now, I, these aren't really one to scale. Um, one other item they sell at the uh you know these hundred in shop are kind of like you know toys for kids little wee dolls you can make your own you know kind of like nendoroid size or style um dolls but i had these fans i thought you know what bit big but they may just work with a one twelve figure uh so let's pop these red ones out and then we can see if you know naruto can actually hold on to them um with his hand that's designed for the um what should we call it uh kunai I think it might fit, maybe a little bit big. Uh, okay. For Naruto itself, it doesn't fit. Bit too big, but they look cool. Uh, maybe you can like sand it down or use another type of hand that you know can just slot in. But as we can see, if Naruto here, they're a little bit on the big side. Um, but depending how you use them, they could be you know at least a fun little background accessory, maybe on a wall, on a table, or maybe a bigger character can hold onto it and it won't look a little yeah. It should look a little bit more natural, uh, but smaller characters I know are maybe a bit too big. Uh, but it does look cool though. I'd love to get something smaller like this to actually use with Hinato and the others. 
Okay, so that brings us to the end of this, you know, quick little wee, uh, video going over some really cool accessories that you can pick up here in Japan. Uh, so again, just a quick summary, 150 yen, besides this guy, 1500 yen, more expensive but really cool and iconic if you live in Japan. Uh, rest of the stuff, pick you know, models, change the colour, paint them, draw them, whatever you want, 110 yen, cheap. And they do the trick for bringing your you know figures to life, especially during photos, or even just to you know spice up your display case. Uh, so yeah, the main ones you want to hit up in Japan again, Syria, and then can do. Uh, Daiso may have some other small items uh, that you can use, but the main majority of the one twelve stuff is at uh, Syria and can do. If you know of any others, please do leave a comment in the uh, you know down below. Uh, depending on okay. The details I'm giving is mainly for Tokyo or big cities. Uh, sometimes there's other tiny, you know, uh, different named uh, 100 yen shops in different uh, cities and or smaller towns in different regions, uh, which may stock this as well. Uh, so if you know the name of those shops, definitely leave a comment below for anyone else that's visiting. Uh, but yeah, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more kind of casual videos like this showcasing other random items related to the figures or you know shopping or anything like that definitely let me know uh, we will try to get more of them I do have I have been saying this for a while I do have more shopping videos planned uh, but I just keep running out of time and now it's ridiculously hot uh, since it's summer so come autumn I'll uh, try and get some more shopping I want to hit up Nakano and a few other areas like that uh, so stay tuned uh, later this year but anyway, again, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, cheers!